we met uh, in Melbourne, Australia. Um, Kyoko is what is uh, actually my uh, ex housemate uh, uh, classmate uh, at, at the uni. At the time you were in RMIT. Yeah, yeah. That time I was at RMIT Foundation mm -hmm. Studies. It's like a preparation for entering university. So that's like one year yearly comps. Yeah. And um, I had a Thai classmate, only one Thai classmate, mm -hmm. and my internet was broken that time. So I had to go to his house and borrow his internet, and that's where we met. Yes. <laughs> it's uh, destiny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, yeah. Never thought that he's like have the, he has a, like different culture because. We have like a lot of things in common, and then uh, but I've, yeah. mm. I've been away uh, overseas yes. I mean, quite uh -huh. for a long time. Before mm -hmm. I went to Australia, actually, it was in Singapore. Yeah, I went there mm -hmm. since I was fourteen, so I am. Um, uh, I'm, I'm not sure that I should count myself as a, as a Thai or as mm. a Singaporean it's or not very Thai. Aussie, you know, or Japanese even. So mm. I, uh, you know, I, I we didn't have much uh, no many no. problems mm. with the, the culture. Mm. Regarding culture, not not a no problem at all. Although I was I, w I was already in Aus 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 Australian citizen at the time, but and, yeah. it was still you know somehow different than you know, my appearance. You know, mm. uh, you know if it's it would you know probably be a little bit difficult you know, if, if we were to stay there. Um, we wouldn't probably get you know the advantage you know like like you know the west uh, like westerners or you know, Aussies or Europeans even um, um, they they embraced you know the idea of multiculturalism so um, but I don't know in, in practice in real world it, it it seems that there's still you know a little bit of you know, discrimination and you know. and actually that time I remember now that uh, you had difficulty finding jobs because you reject like he rejected because yeah. with the reasons that uh, he's overqualified or something like that. So I did my masters, right? Mm. I mean, right after I got my bachelor's, mm. I did masters, so I didn't have the work experience between that. Mm. So maybe that's what they were looking, you know, looking mm. for. Um, but. Uh, you know, overqualification, it, it was a That's little bit That's all the reasons, you yeah. know, like how many jobs did you apply at that time? A lot, I think. Mm. Yeah, a lot, and they all rejected with the same reason, you know, mm. overqualified. What kind of reason? I mean, they had reasons, you know, I yeah. didn't have the work experience. Probably they had another reason, you know, yeah, maybe they, uh, like, um, you know, that, like, they, they want to in, like recruit more Aust like Australians first, mm -hmm. and then if there's a, like a space left, then they will you know recruit yeah. the Asians, you know the non English. I mean, so speakers. I thought we thought you know why not mm -hmm. you know just come back and you know try to find some things that you know, mm -hmm. we can do here because uh, uh, you know Thai 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 uh, organizations Thai companies they they usually look for you know people. People who have been overseas, you know, you know, educated overseas. And now our daughter can like uh, understand Thai and Japanese as well, because mm -hmm. uh, like when I speak to her, I speak Japanese, and he speaks uh, Thai with her, so she sort of like understands. That uh, when she speaks with him, he ha she has to speak Thai, and then when she's speaking to me, she has to speak in uh, Japanese. So, and we haven't so taught her English yet. <laughs> uh, two channels, I think, is enough. Right? We don't want to confuse her further, but so so just right right now, I think it's good enough. Mm -hmm. But because she she listens to our conversations every yeah. day mm -hmm. in English, so I'm sure she you know she picks up a little bit along the way. But actually, she doesn't really need to study. Um, yeah, she might have to study like grammar, no, you know, um, vocabs. But later on, it's okay yeah, yeah. when she's growing We're not in a hurry. You know. Yeah, yeah. Because, you know, like some but Thai parents, right? Yeah. They like to, <laughs> they like to <laughs> teach their, their child like English, no. you know, even, even though that they can't even speak Thai yet. Mm. 
go English first. Oh, we're gonna be international, you know. <laughs> Cannot. <laughs> gonna... uh, the the child will be very yeah. confused. Yeah. But since she's living in Thailand, she has to speak Thai first. Mm. That comes first. That's the like. Uh, That's the mother tongue. Uh, yes, mm. uh, the main language that she has to learn now. And then the second language is Japanese. When if she doesn't speak Japanese, she cannot communicate with her grandparents. grandparents. Uh, that's very serious. Mm. So I just would like her to speak two languages first. And if she cannot speak English, that's fine with me. It's up to her. So my mom, my father love love him so much, you know, and they actually wanted us to, you know, to stay with them. Uh, last time we went back yeah. for nine months, they said, "Why don't you just stay there permanently?" <laughs> But for me, I <laughs> I I wanted to come back here <laughs> as soon as possible, and and I also have a like a um, Australian mother as well in Australia. I haven't seen her for ages, in like five years. Mm -hmm. So I want to go back to Australia just to you know see her and also friends. Mm -hmm. I have very good friends. So. But I think we will stay here. But our base is mm -hmm. here. Yes. Because mm -hmm. yeah, more or less everything is uh, settled. settled. Mm -hmm. um, although we stay here less than we stay in Australia, mm -hmm. but I think it's gonna be a, a great home for yes. us.